Lord Jesus Christ, we invoke you, so that you may teach us tonight, members online, on YouTube, Facebook, and other media sources. Jesus Christ is Lord. Tonight, the Spirit of the Lord has led me to teach you, those hearing us, listening to us from distances, that he wants to teach us on who we are so that we may pray according to our needs, not wants. Our needs, not wants. And he has told me to teach you on what you have as the body and what you have as the spirit and what you have as the soul. First of all, do you believe you have those three parts that make up you. Now these three parts, the body, we have the body, we have the soul, we have the spirit. Now, the body is what you see, this one where the watch is. Is what you see. Why am I teaching you all this? Say that when you pray, you know what you used to pray. And what happens when you pray? When you talk to God, what talks to God? And when someone ties you or binds you, what does he bind? When you bind yourself, what, what is bound? This theory of God, the theory of the spirit, the theory of the soul, what is the soul? Jesus Christ has laid my tongue today and wants to teach you the prophetic message, the apostolic message in those three parts, such that you can learn on what to do next time. The body is what you touch. That the, the body is tangible on you. You can touch. Touch your body. That thing you are touching is called the body. Then we also have the soul. The soul is the communication to God. Is that part of you that is so precious, so expensive, very hard to get. Because the devil has tried to look for the soul has failed. Protected, in, uh, built in a very cheap house, which is the body that expires anytime. Then the spirit is that that communication to that that you use to communicate with you and other things like your property, your friends, mom, parents. And when you die, this soul you don't go with it. This spirit you don't go with it. The spirit you don't go with it. And you can see there are one two, and three parts. And we also find that God compromises or is, comprom is made up of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And he has one, two, and three parts. So these three parts match in a tandem for us to resemble God. Let us see the uses or the advantages. What does the body help us? One, the body is the house, is the house of the Holy Ghost. I don't know whether I'm speaking to someone. 
to the body is what moves, is what goes, or is what, for example, when you sin, the body is punished first, because the body that sins, the Baganda say, Guruma Yabu, Yabuza, Enzukute Kwata, Kundi, Elekirida, Nenonyan Yareso. So the body is what sins. And when you sin, the body is punished immediately. That's why you get diseases. You find people scratching their bodies as if they are not, it's not their body. You find people scratching their heads. Because there is a sin that has gone to them, and the punishment is death. When you steal, it's the body that is punished by law. People beat people because people beat people's bodies because they have sinned, they have stolen someone's property. I remember I had a friend who used a knife to pin into someone's name who had stolen someone's property. Used a knife in the name. And the body that was punished. So the body is what eats food. Whereas the soul eats the word of God. And the spirit also eats the word. The soul and spirit are housed in the body. Their house is in the body. This body looks for things that it desires and they are always in the fight with the soul and the spirit. The body is always in the fight. As the body is saying, I want to marry her, the soul is like, please wait, she's not the one. As the body is saying, I want pork, the soul is like, oh, we shall not be in tandem with the Father, because for you are overeating. As the body is saying, I want chips, the soul is like, why don't you take some little, hmm, some little dodo, or nakati, or pineapple. When a disease comes, it strikes the body first. The body is striked. The body is the gate of your soul. Whenever I want to enter your soul and spirit, then I must make sure that I have got a way through your body. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Why am I teaching you all this? Because this body, people take it as if it's all what you need, it's all you need. It's the body that looks for money. goes and works in the factories. It's the body that is never satisfied. This body is a projection 
whatever happens in the spirit and the soul is projected in the body. For example, when someone has a problem in his communication system, you find that he has got a smelly mouth. The odor from the mouth is terrible. Then he has a communication problem. And that's prophetic. Because no one would like to talk with someone who is stinking. The body expresses our character. Our inner character. The body expresses our inner character. For example, you find me dressed with terrible clothing, damages, dirty clothing, what comes out of my mouth shows what I eat in my soul. So the body tells people that this one is a broccoli, is saved, or is not saved. It's through the body. And the soul, now let us go to the soul. The soul has its major work of making sure that you have got good communication with your God. That's why in First First Thessalonians chapter five, verses twenty-five. What does it say? Let us have that reading there. Pray for us, mm. brothers and sisters. Pray for us, brothers and sisters. Okay. Continue. I. Verse 25. Mm. Pray for us, brothers and sisters. Mm. Greet all the believers mm. with a holy kiss. Mm. I urge you by the authority of the Lord to read this letter to mm. all the believers. Mm. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Amen. Let us also look at Luke 9.25. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Luke 9.25. Mm. It says, Will people gain anything? If they win the whole world, will people gain anything? Will people gain anything when they win the whole world? Mm -hmm. But are themselves lost or defeated? Now, what's the difference? They have told you, will people win anything and themselves lost or defeated? Defeated. Of course not. Of course not. Mm -hmm. Verse 26. Mm -hmm. If people are ashamed of me mm. and of my teaching, mm. then the Son of Man will be ashamed of them when he comes in his glory and in glory of the Father and of the holy angels. And of the holy angels. Now, now check. Will people gain anything? Because now for us we are always workah workaholic. Working, eating, working, eating, getting rich, housey, housey, believe that. Now, will you gain anything? Who will gain? That we also have to work on the soul, not only the, bo the body. The body. Let us look at Matthew also sixteen twenty six. Matthew sixteen twenty six. Matthew sixteen twenty six. Mm. Will people gain anything if they win the whole world but lose their life? But lose their life? Of course not. Mm. There is nothing they can give. To regain their life. There's nothing they can give to regain their life. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, where, where, where's life? Life is in the soul and the spirit. Amen. This is a manifestation that when we are looking for bodily things, bodily articles, 
we are looking at the body only. As I, in the beginning, I told you that people are looking at body, 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 body. My, my head, my son, my head, my, my stomach, my head, my leg, my car, my, my, my house, my plantation, my, 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 my. Let us look at Mary's prayer, the mother of Jesus Christ. Luke 1, 4, 6. Mary expresses this very well. There. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Virgin Mary made a prayer after received the Holy Ghost. Luke after chapter she... 1. Mm -hmm. 46. Mary said, mm -hmm. My heart praises the Lord. My heart praises the Lord. My soul is glad. My yes. soul is glad. Because of God, my Savior. Because of God, my Savior. That is the um, song of praise. The Mary's song of praise. Mary's song of praise. He talks about the soul. The, you find that the soul and the spirit are different. The spirit is what God uses to communicate to you. It's a communication channel. I, I, I mean the soul is the communication channel. God uses to communicate to you. Amen. It's a little bit deep. It may look boring to those of you who don't want to know. It's the soul that goes to heaven when you die. Amen. We assume that when you die, you and me will go to heaven. We assume that's, that's where we came from. We also assume that Adam and Eve came from heaven when they are souls. And the garden, of, the, 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 the garden of Eden, the paradise, they were there as spirits and the soul. Then they had to put on the body by God getting mad and making the body and putting these spirits inside. So, when we are working on our souls, let us not forget that we also have the soul and, and the spirit. Let us look at what the spirit does. The spirit is what communicates to you and your property your friends, and other earthly things, and other earthly things, and other earthly mm -hmm. things, maybe into a Yokunsi, earthly things, like your car. You may be sitting there and you are like, where's my phone? Uh, where, where's my phone? As you are checking, you are like, ah, and this one is now calling. But now I've been even thinking about him. Hello? But you know that I've been calling you. I've been, I, you know, I've been thinking about you. And now, I, as I've been looking for my phone, I found that you are also calling. You know? So it's the spirit that communicates to other people. It moves to other people. It moves to other things. It moves to... You can't even get to know that your child is sick when no one has told you. Because the spirit will move there very fast and talks to the child, comes back and makes calls into your, your body to know that your child is sick. You may fall a little bit sick. As you know, when you are about to lose someone, you also fall sick. Or when someone is dead, you also fall sick. Okay? Now, this time, the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of man, the spirit of man, is a little bit different. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It makes sure that you communicate. But the soul is to communicate to God only. And also God, when God wants to communicate to you, He passes through the soul. Then to the spirit, then to the body. The spirit, the soul is stronger and the spirit is a little bit 
weaker because it sends the message to the body which is weakest. And Paul always tells us that my body is weak. The body is always weak. And the spirit is a little bit weak. And the soul is strong because it's the communication to God. And God has said, has, has told us that all souls belong to me. All souls belong to him. All souls belong to him. All souls belong to him. But the soul that sins will die. That's the second death of spirits and the soul. That we shall talk about later. The spirit is what that which doctors can pull from you and bewitch you through using the contact points of your dress, of your private parts, of your body. When they take the, the contact point, for example, someone takes my pen, he can access my spirit. But the spirit can be charged by the word of God that even if you take it, you have taken fire of the Holy Ghost. So we can see that even if you have charged your body with food, sincerely you are wasting your time. When you charge your body with food, you are wasting your time. You are going to be here on earth very well, have houses and everything, but in heaven, you don't have any place. Heaven is real. Heaven is real. That's why I always tell you, please, don't look at those people that are looking a little bit well off and you are like, whoa, they have God. No. Some have, but some totally don't have. Some totally have not. And they are looking for that day. When God will call them, I don't believe, a little bit believe in that God punishing us. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. But this is what we are made up. We are made up of the body, the soul, and the spirit. And each has a role to do. You say, when you sin, it's the body that is punished first. You scratch your privates when you sin with other people. But the soul will always tell you, please don't do in a very calm voice. And the soul will pass through the spirit to the body. And the body is always adamant, does not want to listen because it is charged by the evil spirits. Since you have the spirit that is close to the body, then it can be charged by any evil spirit. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And all the regrets, all the regrets will go to the body. After sinning, you will blame yourself. Self-blaming. You condemn yourself as the soul will be telling you, you see, I told you. But the Father can still help us because the soul is always encouraging. And this is where the Holy Spirit sits in the soul. The Holy Spirit sits in the soul, not in the spirit or in the body. That's why Peter encouraged his friends that when you find these pagans, when they're eating, eat, as long as you pray with them. Pray for the food and eat, because it is not the body that is contaminated, but the soul and 
and the speed. When you are ready to fire, no one can reach you. Because fire comes from the soul. You have direct connection to God. In Jesus Christ, my name. Amen. Now, how do we resemble God? We have the Father, we have the body. That's one part. God has made us in three body parts, and he also has three personalities. The Catholic Church calls it the persona. But the word persona comes from a Latin word. No, it's, it's called the pers persona, yes. Then we get the English word personality. And personality, we get the English word, the meaning of the English word, which is character. Character. You can be in a play or a movie, but having different characters. As a thief to a person, as a priest, God bless you. But these are different characters. And any of these characters can be hidden by you or any other person. That's why when you have the body, you have the, the, the father. Then we also have the soul. Where there is the soul, there is the son. Because the spirit of the soul sits in the sun. I mean, the spirit of the sun sits in the soul. Okay? That's the holy, the holy spirit. Then we also have the spirit. We also have the, the spirit. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This combination makes us resemble God. Because we have three body parts and God is made up of three characters. Three characters. Brethren, I'm proud. I've been blessed to teach you on what makes you you. On what makes you you. If I can take you a little bit to what happens when you sin. What happens when you sin? The first thing that comes to your life when you sin. One. As I've told you that you have the body. You have the soul. You have the body. Number one. You have the soul. And the spirit. When you sin, When you see in your body, the condemnation the Spirit tells you, please, this is not your wife. Uh -huh, what do I do? But everybody is not like that. The body tells you, everybody is like, it no. makes it, makes it very easy. Okay? But in the soul, in, in, in the spirit, you have already communicated to this person. That's why you can even pick up a phone and call someone and is ready to listen from you. That's why at times I even get my phone. For those people who fail to pick up their phones, I call. Please make sure I pick this number. Okay? Okay. Now call. And as I call, someone picks. Because I communicate through the spirit and the spirit will take the body someone is calling in Jesus Christ my name Amen. now let us assume we have killed one person as one sin killing you have killed what one person as killing that means you have killed the body you have killed the soul you have killed the spirit Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? That you have killed the communication of this spirit with other people, with the father of that father body, with the mother of that, eh? with the children, eh? with the property. When you kill, 
someone, the soul is terminated. Then the soul is put aside and waits for the next assignment. The body is terminated. The body is killed. What happens to the body? When the body is killed, everybody is going to know that someone has been killed in the village by stinking and smelling. Uh -huh. And we say that this body is used to house the soul and the spirit. So when you kill the house, <laughs> when you remove the house, what happens to the, in the, to the inhabitants of the house? They all fly away, okay? And they report to the sender that we have been terminated. Now, what if we abort a child? Mm -hmm. Tell your neighbor abortion. I'm, I'm talking about some few things that we, also, we always think are easy. What if you abort? When you abort, you have killed the body that God has sent his soul. God is soul. So when the Holy Spirit comes to reside in this body, he finds that the soul has been killed by pills, family planning pills, by scratching it to take it out. What else do you use to abort? Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. When you are born, the parents to this child will get to know through the spirit. Will get to know through the what? Through the spirit that someone has killed our child. Okay? So the sin is not only yours, but also to the parents. And not only to the parents, but the grandparents. And if there are other spirits of those parents that are living, they are going to look for this spirit, child. That's why people can even give prophecies that you are going to have a baby boy. Like my grandfather told my father at 12 years that your firstborn will be a boy. And you give him all my names. But she will be a special child that will serve God mm -hmm. at 12 years of my father. I was there in the soul and spirit. Where? Where was I? There. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why the communication came. To my grandfather, the soul and the spirit were there waiting for this boy of 12 years to grow up and produce a body that will, <laughs> that these spirits will end. Oh, the soul. So what if I was aborted? Mm -hmm. What if I was aborted? My mother would have aborted. The spirit that was prophesied on, the soul that was prophesied on, and the body that would come. So the backward follow of JB would bring condemnation to my mother that you killed our prophet. You can now imagine how many prophets have been killed. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to pray with you tonight. And I don't want to condemn you in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. It's the law that condemns. And Jesus Christ has brought freedom. He has given us the name. He has given us the word. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I stand in the same word. Anyone listening to me, on the very few sins I have talked about, death and abortion, you may have committed. 
in ignorance at times you know but the conditions at times you know but there are people around you and the pride you have and the temptations in Jesus Christ's mighty name I speak to your soul I speak to your spirit and I set that spirit of condemnation to leave you I yes and any disease that came because of this sin, I command to leave you now in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Yes, I command to leave you in Jesus Christ's mighty name. And all the parents that have one day killed through abortion, miscarriage, I give life to those spirits again to come and live. To come and live in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Live for the purpose of serving God in truth and wisdom. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Yes, I command now. Sin, leave my people in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Sin, listen to me, you sin. You have the ears, you have the face and the other part the parts. Listen and leave my people to the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I prophesy that any hatred that came because of that sin I've talked about is leaving you now. That dislike and love you have been having because of sin is leaving you now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You and love leave my people in Jesus Christ's mighty name I prayed. And now I speak to the whole world. Sin is no longer reigning this world. For the Lord Jesus Christ told us he has won. Win also in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Win sin in Jesus Christ's mighty name. I give life because I've been given. Receive the blessing, the ironic blessing, the priestly blessing of the priest of Moses, Aaron. May the good Lord be with you. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Turn his shining face towards you and be blessed. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. I seal this prayer in the seal, in the holy seal of the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. I love you. I will always love you. Stop condemning yourself. I'm coming for the message of hope. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen.